Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove the reset protection or the reset protection recovery key from your Lumia 640. Now, what you want to do, the first thing is download these files and this is a zzip file so you're going to download it from using the link here. The link will be posted in the description of this video. Now once you have downloaded that you should extract it to your hard drive. Alright. And it requires a password. The password will be posted in the description to extract the file. Alright, so once you have done that, you should have these files right here. You presented with the Lumia Flash tools here and a firmware here to be flash on your Lumia 640. We have to do this first to downgrade it and to debrand it. Right. Now you should should be going in the Lumia Flash Tools folder and go to WPID. Once there, run execute this start that bot. Okay. And you should be presented with a screen like this. So if I go to start over and should be presented with a screen like this once you execute the start that bot. Now you select flash a Windows phone image onto your phone right here. Next, you're going to put your phone into flash mode, the Lumia device into flash mode. To do that, you're going to turn off your device, then press and hold the power button and volume down until it vibrates. After it vibrates, hold the volume up, the volume up button and you are now in flash mode you can connect your usb cable to the system and it should be detected right here if it's not detected you can always press the refresh button but it should be detected now you want to select this change so this is going to select where the image you want to flash on to your lumia device i should have it in g yes uh, this is here this is it the rm 1073 yes this is the firmware you should flash onto your Lumia 640 device once that is done you should select the flash button after that and once that is done you're good to go alright now after that you're going to yeah and make sure you have Windows um, Windows device recovery tool installed on your system so you should download that from the Microsoft site or you could I'm going to post a link to the UI tool right here this folder so you can use it instead yeah I'm going to post a link to the UI tools I think it's included in the ZZIP folder but I'm going to post a separate link just in case and you should have the cabs right here in the ZZ folder because this is a very important as we're going to we're we, we really going to need this yes we're going to need this alright so once you have done that once you have downgraded to the um, the firmware on the device and debranded using this image right here you're going to open command prompt so that's command prompt and make sure you're running it as administrator to run command prompt by administrator you can go right click on start select run and type in cmd it should be no. alright go to your search bar type in cmd once it comes up you right click on it and select run as administrator so that's your search bar if you're using Windows 10 type in CMD right click on it and you should see run ad as administrator yeah. alright okay, I see I can I pin command prompt here I can right click on it and go more and run as administrator alright so once you have done that you're going to use the UI tool folder right there and you're going to put in the common um, 
the IU tools folder right here, IU tool dot exe right dash first since as I use tools is in my E I should change this to E so E right here we go and we're gonna say I U tool dot exe capital V minus P C mm, I don't have the caps in C so if you have the caps in C you see right there but I don't have the caps in C so I'm gonna say E and then I'm going to use slash right there and then caps cause the folder in caps right so as I U tools that exe yeah that caps alright but first we're not in the IU tools folder so I should go ahead and go in the IU tools folder oh no the CD okay. so yeah so let's use the CD command and we we'll get into the IU tools folder now I can run the IU tool at exe minus v dash p that's common p um, I have it in e this is this hard drive that I'm in right now and I'm going to say slash caps and once that's initiated once that's initiated you can go ahead and um, leave it let it execute it should be running some caps right there. I don't have my Luma phone connected right now to actually show you a live demonstration but once you follow these steps you should be well on your way so you leave this to run alright one important thing is when you do the firmware downgrade that's here when you use this tool and flash the firmware as I stated you should when the phone is um, started up and everything you should configure the settings and everything and get to the screen where it says reset protection recovery key don't leave it at the setup screen where it tells you to set your language and location or choose your country and so don't yet configure it once you have flashed it or downgrade it configure it and get try get to the screen where it say reset protection and cover key before you actually execute the UI tool command the IU tool command sorry the IU tool command because if you don't get to the screen before you execute the IU tool command it won't remove the reset protection Right. so this is a very long wait once you have initiated this you should be leaving the phone and let it stay there and do its thing uh, it's a very long wait about sometimes about 45 minutes yeah about 45 minutes to an hour so just leave it there let it do its thing once it is done you should be getting some spinning cogs right here it should be reset by itself and you should be getting some spinning cog cogs saying it's updated saying it's stating that it's updating and then um, once that's finished you should leave it again for another uh, another another 15 minutes or so and then you can select the option and next row and that should remove the reset protection recovery key yeah so that's it folks thank you and the links will be posted along with the password and the method to put your Lumia device in to flash mode in the description we posted in the description so yeah that's it thank you and I hope this helps you to remove the reset protection alright thank you